Um, but I have the pleasure here of getting to host Josh Reef. Uh, he's the president of Plus One Real Estate out of Los Angeles. And he's going to break down for us here the four stages of momentum and how this can help you sustainably impact your business. So thank you for joining us, Josh. Thank you so much for having me. Um, can you see me? Can you hear me? Is everything good on your end? Can everybody hear me? I can see you and hear you perfectly. So looks like we've got some listeners in here as well. So hopefully they can hear you also. Beautiful. All right. Well, then with that, then let's get started. Okay. How about that? Let's do it. Today, we're diving into a topic that might make some uneasy, but it's essential for personal growth. Daily minimum standards. I'm here to break down what sets the superstars at plus one LA apart. And it's not just about hitting big numbers. But before we dig in, let's clarify what makes the superstar at plus one LA. It's not a one size fits all definition. It's about individuals successfully achieving their unique goals. Whether it's selling 100 houses a year or hitting personal milestones, success is subjective. And that's our mantra. In some real estate circles, though, there's an unwritten rule that selling 100 houses a year is a benchmark. But at Plus One LA, we understand the power of setting your own goals. So guys, daily minimum standards aren't about conforming to external pressures. They're about aligning with your ambitions, steering clear of unnecessary stress and fostering a healthy approach to success. So guys, grab your notebooks and let's explore how to set standards that truly resonate with your goals. Are you guys ready on this journey? Can you guys all hear me? Yep, I can get, hear you. We're, we're about to get wild here, okay? So <laughs> I love hopefully, it. You're, hopefully you're taking notes and you've had your coffee. So let's go. Now, I want you guys to, let's just consider a scenario where I, as an agent, express the desire to sell 100 houses a year. However, the key is understanding the motivation behind such a goal. If the goal of selling a substantial number of homes is rooted in another objective, such as acquiring investment properties and achieving financial independence, that goal suddenly makes more sense. So going back to the example of an agent aiming for 100 houses a year, when asked why, if the response is merely ego-driven, it lacks clarity. But on the other hand, if the agent outlines a strategic plan involving property acquisition and mortgage payoff, you can bet they're more likely to accomplish that goal. That's the level of thinking that I am aiming to explore in this discussion today. How to infuse your goals with purpose and intensity. Intensity. Are you guys with me? Are you guys still with me? We're with you. Beautiful. Before I dive into the first point, let's all acknowledge the power of momentum. I want you guys to just close your eyes for a second. And I want you to reflect on the last time that you experienced it. The flurry of deals. Deal after deal after deal. Successful lead follow-ups. Referrals pouring in. And an overall positive feeling. Now consider some haven't felt this momentum in their real estate careers for years. It's true. And some may even believe that momentum is no longer achievable in the current market, which it's false. Take a moment to recall the last time you felt that surge of momentum. Really, just think about that for a second. Now, let's break it down further. Imagine you're just starting to run today. Today, you're just starting to run. There are distinct phases to this process, and I'm going to break all this down for you guys today. So if you're jotting down your notes on the phases of momentum, remember you cannot skip any of the stages, guys. You can't, you can't go past any of them. It's, it's, it's methodical. It's a plan to follow. So first up, ready? Write this down. It's called formulation. Formulation is where you're deciding what is important to you. You're actually thinking about that. Formulation is putting together the plan. Then you have, next, concentration, which is working the plan. And sometimes you've got to stay in conversation for a fairly long time but then you reach momentum and after momentum is breakthroughs. So guys, this is the four stages. You've got formulation, concentration, momentum, and breakthrough. Got that? Got Very it. Good. Agent, cool, cool. Forming their 90 day action plan. So they started forming the plan yesterday. That's the formulation. So they're at the stage of saying, well, this is my plan and this is what I'm going to do. I've enrolled myself in my plan. I am motivated. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the potentiality of actually following my plan. That is the first phase. It's called formulation. You've formed your plan. Now, the next phase that comes after that, it's important you guys understand this because I'm going to, I'm going to tell you where I see a lot of agents falling down. And I'm also going to point out the reason that there are superstars out there and plenty of them, thousands in this industry, as you guys know. And I'm going to show you specifically what they do differently, but you have to understand the four phases first. So formulation is when you're forming your plan, deciding what you're going to do. Yeah, 
you've decided to pursue more education. You've recognized that you're going to polish your real estate sales skills or knowledge. Maybe some of you are saying, well, you know what? That sounds good enough. I'm going to try it. It doesn't matter what level of initial commitment you have. You've made the decision. Okay. That's formulation. What matters most is what comes next. And that's concentration. Yes. This is the hard part for some people. Yes, concentration. And concentration is actually doing the plan. And I'm talking every single day with intensity, okay? Now, of course, you're going to have some days that are more intense than others. But the next stage, this concentration phase, this is where you're working on momentum. You're trying to get to momentum, but you've got to do the work, right? And this is the part that makes people uncomfortable. Well, the problem with concentration is if is that you, you guys don't get a reward. Like, I don't get a reward oftentimes. And that's the hard part, right? It's like this. Work, 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 work. Sometimes pays off. Yeah. Work, 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 work. No payoff. Work, 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 work. Oh my God, why am I doing this? Work, 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 work. This doesn't even make any sense. I could be out playing Farmville on Facebook, right? Lots of work, not necessarily immediate results. Work, work, work. Nobody's acknowledging me. Work, 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 work. Nobody's even saying I'm doing a good job. More work. And all of the other realtors in my office are saying, well, why the heck are you wasting your time with that? Why don't you just go and just do an open house? You're constantly challenged internally and externally. Moving forward, let's talk about some of the superstars that are out there that I've seen and you know them. They're like pros at automating everything, right? Picture this, leads are just flowing in, even when you're on appointments. Now here's the kicker. Some of the agents lacking the listing mojo hesitate because their subconscious goes, can I handle all these listings? It's a classic overthink, right? Like you're getting overwhelmed and all that, but let me spill the beans to you. When you hit that sweet spot of momentum, guys, everything just gets easier, not harder. It's like flying a jet. And <laughs> I actually came up with a really hilarious analogy for you guys, so. I love analogies, so let's hear it. Here we go. I, I hope you're ready for this one, okay? This is, this is epic, okay. So picture me as the pilot. I'm the pilot, I'm loading the plane, that's the formulation stage deciding where I'm flying, checking the plane, you get that, right? Now concentration kicks in. Full throttle, taking off the runway, creaky noises, nervous excitement, that's when it's intense, like your first coffee of the day. Once I'm cruising in the air, I throttle back, quieter, smoother, that's momentum. But here's the comedy twist, imagine if as the pilot, I suddenly decided, well, flying is hard tonight. Let's pull back the throttle, like imagine, okay? That would be total chaos on the plane. Agents do that too, I do that too. Getting uncomfortable in concentration equals letting off the gas and bam, you're back to square one. Full plane, full throttle, no throttle, up, down. Sounds like a bumpy ride, doesn't it? Your real estate career doesn't need this roller coaster. Remember the stages of momentum and go for that smooth takeoff, all right? Now imagine your real estate journey is like, a, it's like a pilot's crazy up and down ride. At the end of the runway, there's a wall, there's a lake, there's trees. That's your motivation, okay? So if you're that pilot constantly toggling between full power and no power, your plane's gonna crash and listen up, nobody wants that, okay? I promise you, all right? So now you're cruising at altitude. It's like the breakthrough moment, less fuel. You're even eating dinner. It's, you're even watching a movie, it's chill vibes. You're taking your seatbelt off, you're walking around. And guess what? That's your listing inventory, guys. Starting something new is cool. Being motivated is awesome, but here's the kicker. The real challenge is in concentration phase. Break through that, clear the runway, hit the cruising altitude, but there, here's the deal, guys. You've got to keep the throttle down consistently. If not, your success plane crashes, and who wants that drama? So where you put your mind and energy every day matters. That's the secret sauce. These first three months of the year are gold. Work now and keep that throttle down. That's the name of the game, my friends. Some of us are like carrying around this guilt it's unnecessary guilt for wanting stuff, okay? And guess what? I'm giving you a big, bold permission slip to want whatever your heart desires. Stuff is not the enemy. It's actually fun to have, but you got to use the stuff as motivation. Now, if you're feeling a motivation slump, set a goal, big or small, whether it's a new camera lens, a new set of golf clubs, a vacation cruise, or paying off a credit card, that's where it'll begin. Adding to the so, four stages of momentum, I want to I want to drill down on a couple of important points that are going to highlight and add texture to these phases okay so point number one i want to debunk the myth of balance okay seriously seriously guys who who's got everything perfectly in balance all the time and perfect harmony well i don't know about you guys but i don't know i don't know if anyone really does but balance is like chasing a unicorn
It sounds great, but does it really exist? Let's be real and focus on what really matters. Sure, it's okay to aim for better balance, but let's face it. Something will always be a bit of a kilter, and that's perfectly normal. You need to ditch the idea that achieving balance means neglecting other areas of your life. It's sometimes, if someone is like super fit, right, and they're training for the triathlon or aiming for the Olympia, you can bet they're probably letting other parts of their life slide. So here's the deal. You got to embrace the fact that you might be a bit out of balance when you're laser focused on a specific goal, especially building your business, whether it's the first quarter, second quarter, or whenever you're listening to this, if it's being recorded, a 90 day massive action plan, it works wonders. The key is to communicate with your loved ones. Let them know you'll be diving into this goal head first. It's okay. It's totally natural, but just keep everyone in the loop. Surprisingly, when you're in the groove taking massive action, you might actually feel more in balance. It's the momentum effect. Knowing knowing you're meeting your financial goals and seeing results makes everything fall into place. So agents, let's embrace the unbalanced ride and focus on propelling ourselves forward. Critical point number two I want to get to is that superstars out there, they take their schedule very seriously. Aligning it with dollar productive activities in real estate, prospecting, lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, presenting, negotiating, and closing. Those are the exact steps right there, guys. Not all the shiny objects that are out there. It's about creating momentum and sticking to the phases of momentum. The key is not losing sight of the actions that got you there in the first place. So you don't want to get off off task and out of concentration because the third critical point, write this down, guys, is that superstars embrace the repetition of dollar productive activities. They don't let occasional boredom deter them, uh, deter them right? They understand the crucial truth that re uh, repetitious boredom, it pays off, but only when you reach momentum. Consistency is the name of the game. Do the things, and you, you could write this down actually. Do the things you don't want to do when you don't want to do them at the highest level consistently. This commitment leads to expert experiences in life that others miss out on because they aren't willing to put in the same effort. So for those of you that have been taking shortcuts in 2023 or feeling complacent, it's time to acknowledge the need to work hard, learn, Commit to the journey. It's about staying in that concentration phase until you achieve momentum. Unlocking a life beyond your wildest dreams, guys. You need to really concentrate. Follow your 90-day action plan, not the yearly goal. Break it down into 90 days that you can actually focus and you can actually track your daily minimum standard activities. I spend a ridiculous amount of time, of time focusing on how to help my agents. And it's not like I'm just giving you part of the information. I'm giving you motivation today. I'm giving you a direction to follow. And then I'm saying, go follow that 90 day massive action plan. Agents, my friends, my colleagues, if you are feeling burned out, hopefully because you're doing a lot of the right things with intensity, you're doing a lot of the right things with intensity, right? And you're starting to build momentum. You're feeling burned out for the same reason if you started going to the gym today for the first month or so, or, or if, you're, if you're like me, for the first year or so, your muscles are going to hurt after you work out. It's because you're creating new neural pathways, because you're building straight. You're building the ability to build, you know, frankly, a big business faster. Do not quit just because you're feeling burned out. Do not quit just because you're feeling a little sore. Do not quit just because it's harder than you thought. That's how it's supposed to be, okay? That's momentum. That's how it is. That's the reason that so many people are unsuccessful. Like, that's the reason so few people are successful. Because it's harder than you think. Now we're going to get to the meat and the potatoes. So if you've stuck around this long, you are about to get the gold, the gold, okay? And I'm going to roll it out for you guys right now because we need to get laser focused on this right here. This critical point number four, which is real estate superstars, they swear by having a lead generation wheel, okay? A concept of core plus one LA. So visualize an old-fashioned wagon wheel or dubs on a Range Rover, which suits whatever suits your fancy, I don't care. The more spokes, the stronger it is. Why? Because the more spokes means more reinforcement, more structural strength, the ability to handle more load. Got it? Spokes on the wheel equals streams of income. So if you guys are still taking your notes, just draw a wheel, okay? And however you want to draw this sp the spokes, whether it's a bicycle wheel or it's, it's Rolls Royce or whatever. Now, picture this. A rock star agent pushing 50 to 100 houses a year. She's a beast at calling Fizbos and expireds. But disaster hits. She lost her voice for nearly a year. With only one spoke in her wheel, her, her income just took a nosedive completely. Lesson learned. Relying on a single spoke is risky. Some still believe in a silver bullet, that one magical lead generator. Truth? 
I think it's complete garbage, you guys. Top agents, the pros, have diverse spokes. REOs, BPOs, centers of influences, direct mail, calling expireds, FISBOs, probates, short sales. They even do radio or TV. In the last 12 months, those multiple spokes not only survived, but thrived. But what's the golden nugget here I'm trying to tell you guys? Don't be a one-spoke wonder. Embrace diversity in your lead generation. Your success hinges on it. So let's just keep on rolling through. Because critical point number five, I want to talk to you guys about the ebb and flow of life. Okay, the ebb and the flow. Life has lessons just like nature. It has seasons. Embrace versatility. Don't plant your feet in one spot. If you say, I'm only an uh, over-the-phone prospector, you're setting yourself up for failure. Be adaptable. I don't work with buyers. That's a big mistake, you guys. Buyers are a spoke, a vital part. Without them, your listings don't sell. The key to having multiple spokes to strengthen your business, but here's the secret, you guys. Don't create a new spoke until the existing one is consistently producing results. Remember the four phases of momentum. Building spokes on your wheel, it's not a quick fix. You gotta start with one. If you're calling asset managers, for an example, polish that spoke until you get results. How are you saying it? When are you calling? What are you asking for? Build a relationship. Every spoke follows the phases of momentum, but not all spokes are identical. And I, I understand that. Some of you excel with past clients, your main spoke, polish it, get predictable results, and then move on to building the next spoke. But remember, don't abandon the old spoke. Two rules to this, you guys. Ready? Rule number one, polish before moving on and don't abandon the old spoke. Okay. In your wagon wheel, if you hit a rock in the road, like a market change, Having multiple polished spokes will keep your wagon from wrecking. It's okay if you're rebuilding spokes. That's what we're here for today. Adapt, diversify, and build a robust wheel of success. Real estate superstars know the game. They lead. They do lead follow-up, and that's really the secret sauce. Picture this. You've got a have-to-sell seller, someone with a genuine need to sell. That's the golden ticket. Forget the want to sells right now in this market, you guys. They're just adding clutter to your life. Your lead follow-up rule is crystal clear with a must-sell seller. Follow up until two things happen, okay? One, they list with you or somebody else. Or two, they file a restraining order against you. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But not entirely, though. The point is your focus and intensity should make them unquestionably want to list with you. Forget the fear of being pushy. They want pushy in this market. Get aggressive. Stand out and seize those opportunities, you guys. Stop stop making excuses, basically. Because point number six is that real estate superstars are masters of scripts and systems, okay? Every aspect of their day is meticulously designed to achieve their goals, and they consistently follow through. Success stems from repetition. Doing the same things aligned with your goals. Now, the burning question, are your schedule and scripts in sync with your aspirations? Do you craft meaningful messages before calling leads or just, or do you just wing it? I mean, let's get real. Many of you will resonate with these truths, yet there's re resistance. Why is there this half-hearted attempt? Why do you sabotage your success, railroading yourself? It's time to look in the mirror and get honest. If your life isn't aligning with your dreams, if you lack financial balance, if you're not living your envisioned life, you're not giving yourself a fair shot. You're doing it to yourself, you guys. You're not staying in concentration phase of momentum and you're not putting in the work. Why? You've inexplicably, you've chosen to fail. You have no excuse. It's failure is a choice, okay? Consider the difference between you and true superstars. They share their success openly, step by step. Yet, why aren't you implementing it? It's probably your ego, perhaps, saying, well, I must find my own unique way. Remember the wheel analogy, guys. Success often involves implementing existing ideas, but occasionally making them better. So I'm going to give you guys the, the grand finale here coming up very soon. So I hope you're ready. Oh, we're ready. This is going to be fireworks like on 4th of July. Oh, uh, this is it right here. This is like this is like a fireworks show over the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, for real. All right. <laughs> Point number seven is that superstars never wing it, okay? They embrace scripts and systems. Your success is a repeatable process, not an, impro uh, not an improvised act. Okay, you're not, you're not just, not even comedians go up and like just wing it. They even have a script that they follow that they memorize, okay? Agents, let's cut to the chase. I wanna get real for a second here. A smart person learns from their mistakes. A brilliant one learns from others. Don't complicate things. Follow the path of superstars. Don't invent the wheel. Don't like keep reinventing it. Keep moving forward. Throttle down like on the airplane. Don't be the pilot restarting the engine. Overthinking is the enemy. 
more opportunities, less overthinking. Now, a key question, you guys, and I don't know if you got the chat on, but um, what's your business product? It's not just great service or helping people. It's income for you. Understand this now. Service, marketing, assistance, they're all crucial things, but bottom line is profit. Don't shy away from it, guys. Okay? You got to quantify your success. And I'm going to wrap it up with this. Um, I'm Josh Reef. I'm here from Plus One LA. I'm thrilled to wrap up our session today with a powerful question. Why are you in this business? Uh, if the chat is on, I want you guys to write it down in there. Like, why Like, why are you doing this business? Let's, let's bust the myth of being your own boss. Even running a multi-million dollar business, I'm not my own boss. You have bosses, clients, shareholders, asset managers. Successful people thrive on discipline and accountability. Lack of a boss? That might be why you aren't hitting your full potential. All right, superstar agents, let's get real about why you're in the business. It's about freedom, right? Freedom from a crazy boss, financial worries and limitations on your earning potential. But here's the deal. The key to, qu to quantifying that freedom is through profit. Remember, your product is not just cash. It's profit. And it's the pathway to liberation. You have the power to choose a different path. Don't settle for diminished expectations. It's a choice. Make the next few years the period where you set the stage for a retirement that's not just a dream, but a reality. You raise your hand when someone asks, who retired from real estate? Say, I did. I am free. You can dust your shoulder off, right? That's the ultimate goal for any business owner. It's freedom. All right, superstar agents, let's cut the excuses and the diminished expectations talk. Those days are over. You are now a totally different agent with a brand new mindset right now after everything we've shared today. You've got the talent, you've got the smarts, and you've got the support. No room for giving up or settling. I don't expect anything less from you, myself, so why expect less from yourself? Some are having their best year ever because they embrace what I've shared today. Your business plan is your game plan. Formulate it. Post it. Dive into concentration. This isn't you, you can't skip any of the steps. You can't do that in this situation. It's your market. It's your opportunity. You need to be in the right place in the right time. That's just an excuse, okay? It's action time, you guys. Now is your chance to stand out. Be the problem solver guru that you are and watch profit follow. Think outside the box. Challenge yourself and value your business based on profit. The golden rule is profit comes when you're helping people at the highest level, the highest level. Starting with point number one, Crafting a business plan, formulation, focus on motivated sellers, and follow today's tips to shine in the next 90 days. Be the superstar that I know that you guys are. Decide, plan it, and work through the tough parts. It's on you to turn things around. And if you need anything, I've got your back. Happy to share any information with you guys or to follow up on anything we've discussed today. And thank you so much for having me today on this call. Thank you, Josh. Really appreciate that and very motivational. So I love it. I definitely took some notes here. And I think for me, one of the biggest takeaways, right, is you don't make excuses. You create a system and you implement it and you hold yourself accountable to that every single day. Appreciate that. And yes, it is a, it's a hard truth, right? A lot of times that we, we really do control our own destiny. So instead of blaming it on other things, really just taking that responsibility and accountability is very important in life. I love that. Thank you. Thanks, cool. Josh. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.